What's up guys? I'm Kristen Gerhardt. I'm with Ed and Dranger and Adam Franklin and you're watching Expose. Guys, we begin with Wayne Hapchin. On Tuesday, he posted a video of his underwater escape from breaking magic. He said it was the most terrifying thing he's ever done, and that's coming from a dude who pulls thread out of his eyeballs. Like, like out of his eyeballs. Guys, it's it's crazy. On Wednesday, we posted a video of Dan White doing something pretty rad with a cell phone. Can you can you get a good shot of that and just hold the phone for me? No, it didn't involve a balloon. It actually involved him making it disappear and reappear in a glass display case. The video was part of a promotion for Orange Cloud, and you can watch it now in our media section. La -la 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 -la. The Illusionist stage show is coming to Broadway's Marriott Marquis Theater November 26th through January 4th. According to a recent Washington Post article, it's the first magic show to hit Broadway in about 20 years. Congratulations to the cast, Dan Sperry and Kevin James, etc., etc., etc. There's seven people in that cast. Finally, I shot a quick video with William Shatner for his new web show, Brown Bag Wine Tasting. It was Captain Kirk in a train car with some wine. So awesome. What more could you ever want in the world? Maybe donuts. Poss possibly donuts. All right, that's all for me this week, guys. I am so warm in this dress. But you're hot. Uh, ah. No ah. one no one will agree with you. Adam will, right? Oh, yeah. He's a bitch. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Andre here and welcome back to Expose. This week's very quick. I'm not going to go over any wire releases because I'm actually filming this a few days earlier because uh, I got a jet out to LA to uh, visit some friends and go to Anime Expo. I've never actually been, but uh, yeah, it's going to be very exciting. I don't think I'm going to get dressed up and I'm not going to go as a uh, Jikachu. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what was that? No, no, that was, that was Jikachu? No, it's not. What's up guys? Hey, what's up guys? We have Kalen here and uh, he's coming along with us in, in my pocket. Yes, in his pocket. <laughs> it's this new magic trick I'm working on where I just shrink myself down into a, a um, Kalen Morelli uh, uh, A miniature Momo. Mom. A miniature Momo. Yeah, it's a mini Momo. Mini Momo. Mini Momo. And so. it goes with, with you wherever you want. Exactly. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you guys and if you're in LA, let us know or let me know and uh, yeah, peace out. We'll see you guys. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? Jonathan Baim here and welcome back to Expose. Uh, last week we were joined by a very special guest and a very close friend of mine, Mr. Dan White. Dan is a star of The Supernaturalist on the Discovery Channel. He's a star of uh, White Magic on the Travel Channel. He's consulted for David Blaine, David Copperfield, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, last week on our episode we invited you guys to submit your questions for Dan, but there was a catch. Your questions had to be in the form of a yes or a no answer. So we got hundreds of questions submitted from you guys all around the world and this week I'm back with Dan and he's going to try to answer as many questions as possible in a few minute time span. So let's get to it. Has anyone ever thought a trick that you performed was real magic? Yes. Is your birth name Dan White? Yes. Dan, is you favorite color black? Yes. Would you rather be a Jedi or a panda? Not a yes or no question, but Jedi, yes. I think that means you should say yes. <laughs> um, don't know what this means. Are they real? Uh, yes. I think he means your eyes, and they are. Yes. Have you ever been bored with magic? Yeah, yeah. Will your answer to this question be no? Yes. Touche. Do you prefer impromptu magic over gimmicked magic? No. Do you still perform pressure? Yes. Do you think the internet has helped the magic industry? Yes. If you would have said no to that question, there would be an impromptu drone strike on your house. Do you feel that playing cards are overused in today's magic? No. Do you like making your affects look flashy and flourishy? No. Do you like flourishing? I respect it, but just based on the last question, it's not something that I do personally. Do you often use invisible thread in your street performances? Yes. Exposure alert. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you ever get out of a ticket, speeding or otherwise, using you magic skills? I've helped other people get out of tickets. So... Yes. Okay. 
sort of. I find it hard to figure out my style of magic and my character when performing. Do you have any advice on figuring out the right personality and style of magic for yourself? I don't think that's a yes or no question, but we'll it's break the rules. It's definitely not a it. yes or no question. <laughs> um, but honestly, the best advice that I've ever gotten was to ask <clears throat> a friend of mine, somebody who knew me well, uh, to describe me and sort of recite back to me qualities that I have. Um, and hearing those things, basically choose the things that you like the best and, and sort of develop those and heighten those things. Okay, JC Magic, JC Magician, that one's for you. Is close-up magic better than stage magic? No. Do you still do gigs as a magician? Yes. You can bring three items to a deserted island. Is a deck of cards one of them? Only three items in the whole world? Yes. No. Probably a wise decision. Uh, food would probably overrule that. Do yeah. you have your own personal creative process? Yes. Do you ever take a break from magic at any point in your life? A long time ago, yes. Have you ever picked up girls with magic? Yes. Literally, like you picked them up, levitated them? Okay. Do you use gel yeah. to get that awesome hair? No. Last question that we have time for today. Let's see. I'll go with, would you open the mystery box? No. It's a hesitant no, but I'll take it. Uh, that's all the time we have for here. You know, I know Dan has to run, but Dan, thanks for uh, answering the questions, but mostly uh, thanks for all you guys who posted hundreds and hundreds of questions, most of which were really funny and hilarious uh, last week. We tried yeah, to pull. Yeah, really good. Thanks, guys. It's awesome questions. We got a lot of really funny ones. I tried to mix in a few of those, um, but a lot of serious, good, constructive questions, too. Um, hopefully, this was helpful. Stay tuned. Next week, we'll be doing a lot more sessions like this on Expose, and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Thank you. All right, so now we get to the most important part of Expose, the comment contest. So I'm going to pass it on over to Jason England to give you all the details about that right now. All right, for this week's contest, your job is to guess his name. This is my dog. He's the oldest dog in the family. We have three, and he's a very good boy. But um, you have to guess his name. And his name is probably floating around out there on the internet somewhere. So if you do some research, you'll probably be able to figure out this little guy's name. That's the uh, contest for this week. See ya. All right, guys, and that's it from all of us. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. On behalf of all of us here at Expose, Kristen, JB, Dan, Kalen, Jason, and myself, we'll see you guys next time.